Ah, that's awful lighting. Oh, there we go. How you feel? Honestly, really fucking depleted. <laughs> really nauseous. So depressing. <coughs> I had, um, <clears throat> I ran out of egg whites, so I had two scoops of whey with a half a cup of oats. I did a chocolate uh, and then a banana. Chocolate. <laughs> I thought it was smart not to get a caffeine coffee. I got decaf. And uh, now I'm debating <laughs> to have some more carbs. Have you ever seen them throw sugar in uh, from Dunkin' Donuts? Oh, they shovel it. it. They scoop it in. Yeah. They, 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 they like tip the cup. And they have just a bowl of Domino's. <laughs> like, just blast it in, dude. <laughs> That's blasters. What time are you meeting with it? Uh, 12.31. Oh. No? Oh, we're good. <laughs> Make some noise. All right, so I'm feeling pretty depleted. I don't have a meal with me. I'm gonna go grab two Quest bars, and we're also on our way. I'm seeing. I don't even know what you want to call him. I guess I'm gonna let him introduce himself too. But I have a very. I've had a knee issue for a while, and I haven't been able to squat, and I hate it because legs are my favorite thing to train. So. I need to get this fixed. I had an x-ray, I had an MRI, nothing showed, but it's literally painful to the point where I can't even like, sometimes walk upstairs, like it, I just feel everything no matter what. Can't even squat like 25 pound plates on, on each side of the bar right now. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys, uh, show you guys what type of work we're getting done right now. And then uh, some Quest Bars. Oh. You know how much I just paid for two Quest Bars? Six bucks. 719. Wow. It's insane. So I don't I don't trust these <clears throat> these quest bars. They're they're great. I I think they're great. Jared doesn't care for them too much. It's also probably because we've been having them for how many years now? Is that GNC and stuff? Yeah, I think it's just gross. It filled with a bunch of crap. <laughs> you know, insoluble fiber doesn't doesn't do the trick. So, I've heard the prebiotic fiber in here doesn't digest in your system and actually have any benefit to you. Don't know how true that is. That's what I heard. Take it with a grain of salt. But I'm starving, and I know it's 20 grams of protein. Unlike chicken, where they lie to you. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Pulling up to next level fitness. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys uh, how we're going to fix my knee. Let's check, uh, let's get some standing tests first. So just have you stand facing your feet together. Shoes off, shoes on. Shoes, you can be both on. Okay. And you're just going to gently try to touch your toes. Cool. Um, rotate as far as you can. Let your hips go a little bit. Keep your knees locked out. All the way. We'll do that one more time on each side. Just from years of never, ever, ever stretching your squat after yeah. legs. Okay. Now thinking about your rotation, you're limited in right rotation here. Yep. You have a ton more. But when you're on the table, you have a lot less. So you know when you're here on the table, you're rotated to the right a little bit. Your ribcage is rotated this way. Okay. Which is why you're limited to this. Yeah. It's like positioning, but on this side, you have a lot more. The internal rotation on this side is not so great either. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I did, definitely didn't notice that. Yeah. And I, I definitely have to consistently work on this yeah. area because I do feel a little bit. So, like, think about what happens when you stand up, though. Because if you're here and you have to face people, you're going to rotate back this way. All right, however, what you're going to do it. So, you're going to try, like, say, if you're standing in front of a mirror, you're going to be you're going to be like this. Exactly. But you're going to rotate back this way, face that mirror. So you're going to be torquing up here. And that's going to affect your hips down here. We haven't even taken a look at your channel. Okay. We're going to the grocery store. We're going to the grocery store. All right. We're going to grab some stuff here today. I think I need egg whites. I don't know if I'm getting my meats here. All my vegetables. But we're going to see what we're picking up. I got, I got trust issues. Yeah. I do. I have trust issues with bro. It's like, these look horrible. The cheaper the market, the worse. 
the produce? Yeah, so we're just gonna go egg whites here today. I guess we can go with these, man. No, we can't. I can't buy produce from here. I can't. I think those are good. I'm gonna squeeze. That's what I'm saying. They're both like they're in between. Like, come on, look at this thing. You want them hard, right? You don't want to buy them ripe. You want them hard. And then what you do is you put them in a brown paper bag and then they ripen slowly and you got to catch them on the right two days. Do you eat avocados? Because I eat them. I know the, all the secrets. It's the same thing with bananas. Like when you leave them in a, in a brown paper bag, they ripen faster. Science. It's the opposite of science, bro. Science. Everything's wrong about this place. I don't even, honestly, dude, that is a good price, though. It's a good price. <laughs> That's, they have two of them. <laughs> it's the dates. September, bro. Yeah, we, let's just go to the restaurant place or like BJ's. Yeah, I, I agree, man. That's probably the one thing I'm gonna get. First item on the list. Ezekiel bread, cinnamon raisin. You can't go wrong with Ezekiel bread. This um, feels good for your muscles. That's pretty much it. So last time you had a monkey bread. I don't think I've ever had one. Bro, these are the deals right now. 288. Wow, that actually is a deal. Huh? How did that happen? How does that happen? All the flavors. I feel like we should get all of them. But by the time we get home, they'll be all melted. Nah. Not if we keep them next to each other. This is this is the reason you come to Price Right. This is Price Right, by the way. I don't know where that. I don't think there is any in the West Coast or. I, have no, I don't know. I think either. it's all East Coast, maybe Rhode Island type of deal. <laughs> the RI. Yeah, you want to get a thumbnail? Yeah, hold as many of those as you can. That's way ahead of you, bro. <laughs> Move off and kill you. How you doing there, folks? So we have, we went to the meat market, the Portuguese meat market here, because there's no better place to go to than the Portuguese one, and we got six pounds of top round steak, and then we got ten pounds of chicken, but we got this steak, Jared suggested, because he has a, uh, a uh, what's it called again? A dehydrator. A dehydrator, to make beef jerky. So we had these guys slice it relatively thin for us, actually it's pretty thick too. But we'll, we'll make do. So it's about, see how, oh yeah, this is the good one right here. Huh? So we're gonna throw this in the, the dehydrator for about six to 12 hours. Might be a little more because it's thicker. And now we'll have beef jerky to snack on throughout the day. You don't really need to season it with much, Jared was saying. Pretty much just uh, some pepper, salt if we want to. Actually, that's, that's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, it's actually a good one. Right, though? Oh, this is gonna be great. And, uh, Gonna tenderize these a little bit just to make them a little bit thinner. If you want to try this yourself, you want to get top or bottom round, flank steak, just anything that's a very lean cut of meat. And then if you want your butcher to do it, ask them to fillet it one fourth of an inch thick. Or you can do it yourself, bring the meat home, partially freeze it, and then cut that meat one fourth of an inch thick using your sharpest blade. Um, I'm usually too lazy to do the full marinade and way over time, so I usually just throw some pepper, some salt, some garlic on it. I agree. And make it like that because it comes out absolutely fine when you get a good cut of meat, you cut it thin enough. The hardest part is taking it out at the appropriate time. If you leave it in too long, it'll actually get really, really hard and dry and snappy. If you take it out too early, it'll just be raw meat. So if you like your meat rare, then that'd be great. Take it out early if you're just having lukewarm steak. But if you take it out at the perfect time, it comes out like a really great consistency, lasts a really long time. 
a dehydrating mistake, you're making it without water, that's the dehydration process, and that means it's unable to grow bacteria, bacteria needs water, and that's why it'll last a lot longer. Uh, Nick's currently going to merit Beat the meat! What's going on guys? So it is 10.30 at night, which is, so it's six hours after we put the beef jerky in. I am now going to be taking it out. Usually can't really tell how long it's gonna take this time. Looks really good at about six hours, so I'm gonna take it out, show you guys that, and then I'm gonna get some rest.